Que griten los que están presentes Hoy va a bailar hasta el presidente Estoy tan pegado que no salgo de tu mente Quieren apagarme yo no tengo puente Pa' bailar no existe pena Este funky se candela De aquí nadie va pa' afuera Solo bailan en la favela Izquierda, derecha, pa' arriba Knowing that this is a final, did you have a special speech for your players or you prepare for this as you would go into any other game? Yes, I, I, I received an important video from Brazil, from our president, our Flamengo president, uh, for the important athletes from Flamengo, uh, like uh, ch Olympic champions, uh, Isaquias Queiroz, and and other important players, other important athletes from Flamengo. And now I will talk to the guys, I will pass another video and for, m m but uh, I, I, I know we are ready to fight to the, to the cup. Thank you, coach. In what way is this a different opponent from the, your semifinal matchup? And how did you stress to your players on what comes today? Well, really, it's a very different team, similar to Flamingo. No? I think Flamingo really is a, a good team. We are uh, many years together, same coach, same system. Really, they, they have more weapons in, in offense, uh, very great score, uh, two different points, two different pace, uh, big guys open. It's difficult, really, to play defense uh, against them. But okay, I believe uh, we are ready, we, we prepare the game. Uh, I wonder we play with confidence, obviously we must play tough, we must play with really energy, we must play physical, and I hope that from our defense we can dominate the, the pace of the game. From Rio de Janeiro to Cairo, holding the 2021 title of the Champions League Americas. Welcome Team Flamengo!
number 16 and team captain, Carlos Olivinia. In jersey number two, point guard, Diego Santos. Youngest player in the Intercontinental Cup in jersey number three, Matthias Leone. Player number six from Argentina, Franco Balvi. Six foot eight small forward in number seven, Julio da Silva. Player number 12, Rafa Miniano. Flamengo big man in number 30, Juan Paulo Batista. In jersey number 15, Brendan Robinson. Power forward in number 20, Rafael Raquel. In jersey number 25, from Mexico, Lucas Martinez. In jersey number 31, the big man, Vitor Faberani. Number 88 from the United States, Thor Decker. Head coach of Team Flamingo, Gustavo De Conti. Assisted by Jose Fernando. And now, the reigning FIBA Intercontinental Cup champion and 2021 Basketball Champions League champions from Burgos, Spain, Team Hereda San Pablo Burgos.
six foot ten center from Cameroon, number 35, Landry Nyako. And Burgos Pickman in number 45, Julian Gambo. Head coach of Team Burgos, Paco Olmos, assisted by Felix Alonso and Fran Hernandez. Our referees for this match from Puerto Rico, Roberto Vasquez. From Italy, Manuel Mazzoni. And from Poland, Bocic Liszka. Standby referee from Lebanon, Rabah Najib. Technical delegate from Egypt, Mr. Hisham Al Hariri. Solo sé que montaron Só que vai embora. Tá? Ele saindo ou não, você vai embora. Depois, se não acontecer nada, você volta.
Ladies and gentlemen, fasten your seatbelts. The Intercontinental Cup Carlo 22 final is about to start now.
Enters the court for Flamingo, Lucas Martinez.
on court, Kata, Adrian, and Stevens from Jumpla Court, several times world champions of Jumpla Court, and Cirque du Soleil artists as well. Kata, Adrian, and Stevens, everybody! We don't have right to the rotate, go south, and this side, rotate! Mano derecha, mano derecha. All the time he's right back, okay? And rebound, how many times we train arriving? How many times? Selim, Selim is there, look. So Benici, so Benici, so Benici, so Benici, fundo e so Benici blitz. Tá bom? Oh, vamos ver como é que tá. Vamos ver como é que vai estar lá. Get to Adrian and Stevens, everybody. Find them back with the full show in the halftime. I'm not gonna tell you, not gonna tell you. 
Julian Gamble.
Ladies and gentlemen, stay in your places for the halftime entertainment part and the quiz. Ladies and gentlemen, we would like to ask you to shift your attention to center court now. We're in the context of celebrating the 90 years of FIBA and at the same time expressing its thanks to the Egyptian Basketball Federation for hosting this tournament, FIBA Secretary General Andreas Zaklis will present Federation President Magdi Abu Freikha and Vice President Mohammed Abdel Muttalib with a frame of the letter of affiliation of the Egyptian Basketball Federation into FIBA from 1934. السيدات والسادة في إطار الإحتفال العام للاتحاد الدولي لكرة السلة بتقديم خطاب انضمام الاتحاد المصري للاتحاد الدولي عام 1934. And now welcome on court Amanin Yanga, the FIBA president, and Anibal Manave, the FIBA Africa president, where they receive the gift. From Mr. Magdi Abu Freikha, the Egyptian Basketball Federation President. And joins Dr. Magdi Abu Freikha, Dr. Ashraf Subhi, the Minister of Sports and Youth of the Arab Republic of Egypt, to present the gift to Amanin Yang, the FIBA president, and Anibal Manave, the FIBA Africa president. ready for Kata Adrian and Stevens once again from Jump Plus World, the several times world champions of Jump Pro and Cirque du Soleil artists.
Court. From Jump Plus World, the several times world champions of jump rope and Cirque du Soleil artists. Welcome, Kata, Adrian, and Stevens! <laughs> Gentlemen, audience and fans, get out your mobile phones and scan the QR code on the screens and we're gonna start our quiz soon. It's a blind test, everybody get out their mobile phones and win the final game basketball. Scan the QR code and just put the link under the QR code. Coach, you surprised Burgos in the first half. How did you manage to get this big lead? So I played a good defense and good rebound on first half and closed the space on, on defense and, and on offense. 
I think we need to space him more. We improve our spacing to to possibility to win the game. What do you want to keep the same uh, in the second half? And what do you want to change? I, I, I think spacing more on offense because we 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 can pass. The last pass is not good for us, and need to attack more because they suppose on the second half they, they pressure a lot and we need to space him more. Thank you, Pastor. Flamengo controlled the pace in the first half and had any surprises with Olivinha, with Robinson. What can you do in the second half to change this? Well, of first, uh, we need to change the energy and intensity of the game. They play more comfort, they play his play, they get to uh, pass the ball where he won, and we don't, we don't play defense. We don't play defense, and without defense, we don't have a uh, good pace in offense. We play too slow, we play soft. Uh, and then we change the, the energy, the intensity of the game, and play another play for, we have opportunity to win. When Julian Gabbo came on, he had a little bit of reaction. Is this what you want to see from the rest of your players as well? I hope, it's 20 more minutes. I think the three quarter is key. Our first five minutes, I need that we need to change the, the mental and energy of the game, and I hope that we do right now.
بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ده اللي فاكر ولا شغال بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم انا بتكلم عبد من ورا الشارع الشرقيه Já que eles estão trocando, vem pra fora e tenta fazer o passe. 
Ou o passe no apoio ou o passe lá, tá? Essa nós vamos limpa. Essa nós vamos limpa. Olha só, nós temos três faltas embaixo. Não é possível a gente tomar a bandeja com três faltas embaixo. Continental Cup, Cairo 
Gentlemen, welcome Hype Squad again on court. Who wants some t shirts? No pick and roll pra não deixar chute de três pontos. Nós não podemos ter chute de três pontos, tá certo? Se a bola for, se tiver um mismatch, Iago ou Lucas aqui, Lucas, use the foul, o guard foul. No mismatch, Iago para, para o jogo, bota eles no lateral. Seja inteligente para usar as faltas agora, tá bom?
bola pra eles e acabou. Tá certo? Ó, oh, olha só, olha só. Intercontinental Cup Champion. Everybody clap your hands. Come on, y'all. Check it out.
match today, it didn't look like you never got you ever got in the spirit of the game. What went wrong in your opinion? Uh, the, on the defensive end, we, we had a lot of mental lapses. On the defensive end, we wasn't connected, and that translates to the offense. When you can't defend, you, it's going to be tough to score. Did they maybe surprise, surprise you a little bit with their game plan? No, nah, nah, not at all. We knew there was a good team. We knew they played together for years. Um, as I said, it was just mental lapses on the defensive end, and it translated on the offensive end as well. Obviously, it's tough to lose in the final, but how do you value the, 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 the team's presence in the, in the tournament overall? Uh, we got to learn. We got to learn to grow from it, man. Um, the main thing is that we got to learn to grow.
the silver medalist and second place, Herrera San Pablo Burgos. To present the FIBA Intercontinental Cup MVP Trophy, please welcome Vasilis Benolis, the basketball legend and MVP of the FIBA Intercontinental Cup 2013. Get ready for the MVP. MVP of the FIBA Intercontinental Cup Cairo 2022 from Team Flamingo, player number 25, Lucas Martinez! <laughs> The most valuable player of the FIBA Intercontinental Cup, Barrow 2022, Lucas Martinez. of the 2022 Intercontinental Cup. And welcome Mr. Andreas Zeklis, the FIBA Secretary General. Mr. Anibal Manabe, the FIBA Africa President. Dr. Mehdi Abu Freja, President of the Egyptian Basketball Federation. And Mr. Arles Alvin, FIBA America's Executive Director. Time to announce the champions! The winners of the final game of the Intercontinental Cup and the champions of 2022. From Rio de Janeiro, the 2021 title of the Champions League Americas, Team Flamingo!
now it's time to present the FIBA Intercontinental Cup trophy. Please welcome Dr. Ashraf Subhi, the Minister of Youth and Sports of the Arab Republic of Egypt, and Mr. Amane Nianga, the FIBA President. So Lucas, you have to come a very long way to win this trophy and to win MVP award. Can you describe a little bit how it feels after this long trip? Man, uh, it was amazing, exhilarating. Uh, we came 10 months working hard. Uh, you know, we took an 11-hour flight, had to spend probably another nine hours in the airport in Paris, and then another five-hour flight to get here. It was a long trip, but at the end of the day, it was well worth it.
You guys seem from the very first moment as if you were laser focused on the game from the get go. What, what went through your heads as you were preparing for this game? Well, I don't know, as a lot of people know this, but uh, we won the BCLAs back in March. It's been a long 10 months. And ever since I got to Flamengo, uh, it's all we've been talking about. Uh, the focus, the togetherness, the family of this objective to come here. One thing on our mind is to win this thing for the club of Flamengo. And uh, that we prepared a lot, a lot of hard work, and we believe in each other, and we came out and showed it. Who do you credit for this MVP award? Obviously your hard work, but do you think it was a little bit of the fruit of a collective effort as well? You know, I credit to my teammates. Obviously, uh, you know, I need them to get me the ball to be able to shoot and make threes. Um, so all the credit goes towards them. And coach putting everybody in the positions uh, to create for each other. Um, you know, it's just amazing what, these, what we can do. I, I mean, I don't, I don't, I'm glad I got the MVP, but it could have been well anybody on this team. We're that great of a team, it's any, it can be anybody's night, and we're a family and this award goes to them. What, how do you think fans will celebrate back home? Man, I'm just thinking about how happy my wife is right now. I love her to death, and without her I wouldn't be able to be playing basketball overseas because she's back home, you know, and it's just a sacrifice that we had to make. But I know they're dang well happy for me, and my dad too. My family back home in North Dakota, they're all happy. Thank you very much. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Eu falei assim pra ela. Eu falei assim pra ela. Vai, vai com o bom. Uh, Vasilis, this was the first time you held a trophy in your hands and you had to give it to somebody else. Yes. Uh, it came the time that it will happen this and uh, I feel very nice that I give uh, uh, to Martinez MVP because he deserved it and it was a very nice moment. You know very well what goes through the mind of Lucas Martinez now that he's won this trophy. You were there in 2013. Can you describe a little bit how different this competition is compared to other competitions that you play in the same continent? You know, this competition, uh, they play uh, teams uh, from all the world and uh, it's uh, teams that every team has different style of basketball. Other, time, uh, other team from Europe, other team from Africa, other team from uh, uh, Brazil, you know, it's uh, very interesting to see different cultures playing basketball. It's something very nice and very interesting. Uh, from 2013, when you guys won it with Olympiacos, basketball has progressed, has developed around the world, obviously in Africa as well. You as somebody who watches the game globally, uh, how do you see this change and this evolution? You know, basketball is changing, you know, now it's more, uh, more uh, uh, quick, uh, a, a lot of athletic guys, a uh, lot of physical game. So, you know, it's, uh, it's logical, you know, all our, our, our world is, is uh, moving forward, so basketball is the same. You came all the way to Greece to give this award. Uh, I know you've never won anything in Africa, you've won everywhere else. How, how important a thing is for the game of basketball to develop everywhere outside of Europe, uh, America and so on? I think it's very important to develop basketball everywhere, all over the world. Uh, and, and this is the, the goal of uh, FIBA to, to take the basketball all, all over the world and uh, it's very nice to, for all uh, the people uh, to have the opportunity to watch these games. Last question, you mentioned FIBA's effort to grow this competition. How do you see this competition growing and developing in the near future? Yes, I can see because I know the people and uh, who run it, so I'm sure that it will be in, uh, better and better every year. Thank you very Thank much. You. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Oh, 
busak ang hiligang Party of five, are we drinking a little more? I can hardly decide. 